I just want to go on record and let you know that me, the charismatic nerd, can sometimes be a dumbass. And it took me a while to accept this despite my dad telling me this, my wife, my brother, my sister, my friends. Wow, if you really think about it, a lot of people have told me this, yet what helped me accept this unsexy truth about myself starts with a story with how I got scammed. On December 23rd, 2021, I got an email from my boss. He was asking me for a favor. He wanted to surprise the staff with $500 Visa gift cards as Christmas bonuses via email. And he wanted me to be a part of the surprise since he didn't have the time. All I had to do was buy the gift cards and email them to him. That way he can email it to staff members to surprise them. This all seemed fine. My boss was working from home and dealing with a minor emergency. So I understood he couldn't be able to execute his surprise gifts by himself. And he reassured me that he would reimburse me. So I went out and bought $4,000 worth of gift cards and emailed it to him. A couple of hours later, he asked me to get some more, and I do. He made the same request the next day, and I did it without question. I sent my boss in total $16,500 in Visa gift cards by email. And as we discussed over the email, he promised to reimburse me and asked me for my banking details. I told him I would text him that, and when I did, my boss texted me, okay. A few days passed and my boss didn't reach out for reimbursement. Since it was the Christmas holiday break, I decided to text him over email. My boss was utterly confused by my text messages. He didn't understand what I was referring to. I tried explaining, but he still wasn't getting it. So I told him I would deal with this after the Christmas break. Then all of a sudden, he calls me and he told me that I was the victim of a phishing scam. My heart sank. I was praying this was a sick joke. And I asked my boss if he was kidding. And he wasn't. I got scammed for $16,500. The worst part? I had to tell my wife I ruined our 2022. She was devastated, but also trying to console me. It was a horrible day. I tried calling my credit card companies to see if they could do anything, but they couldn't. They told me I was the one who went out and bought the gift cards and sent it to the scammers. I was heartbroken. I had to accept that I lost $16,500 and had to pay it all back. I started panicking. I didn't know what to do. I thought about getting a second job or finding a new higher paying job. I was all over the place emotionally. Yet, I decided to pay back the debt with my current job. This meant no vacations, no boxing classes, no eating out. I accepted my fate. I went back to work after the Christmas break and I saw the gift cards and receipts on my desk in my office. Looking at them made me sick, so I threw them in the trash. When my boss returned to the office, he wanted to see me. He told me that he spoke to a security expert and they recommended that I contact a Visa gift card company. I thought this was pointless, but I did it anyways. I contacted the Visa gift card company and told them what had happened. They asked for some basic information and I provided it to them. A couple weeks went by and they reached out to me. They wanted me to complete a dispute form for each Visa gift card. I had to provide the Visa gift card, expiration date, CVC number, and receipts. But the problem is, I threw them all out. I didn't know what to do. How could I fill out the dispute forms without the gift cards and receipts? But then I realized, I emailed the gift cards and receipts to the scammer. So I went into the sent folder in my email and got all the information for the dispute forms. I filled out 33 dispute forms. It was tedious, but I completed them. A couple of weeks go by and I get one dispute result back in my email. It told me that the dispute was in my favor and they would reimburse me for one $500 gift card. A week later, another dispute came back and was in my favor as well. And over 12 weeks, each dispute was coming back in my favor and I was able to get all my money back. There was only one issue. All the money would be in gift cards, which was annoying, but a slight nuisance. I was ecstatic that every gift card came back in my favor. Yes, I was lucky. Yes, I was stupid. Yes, I learned a valuable lesson. 
And the reason why I'm telling you this story is just to remind you that I'm human. No matter all the work I've done on myself with therapy, the books I've read, the courage I've displayed, I can still make boneheaded mistakes. That being said, my mistakes don't take away from the progress I've made. In fact, all they really do is just remind me of how painfully human I am. So the next time you make a mistake and you feel bad about it, don't be too hard on yourself. It happens to all of us. And if it makes you feel any better, you can just remind yourself that you didn't get scammed over 16K like the charismatic nerd. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you again for watching. Please like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my newsletter, hit that notifications uh, icon. I think that's right. But other than that, guys, remember, you're not just any type of nerd. You're a charismatic nerd.